Hello everyone. Welcome to Maker Monday. We're going to learn quite a few things tonight. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to Corel Draw Water Bottles. So today in this class, you'll get to learn how to put your own custom monogram onto these water bottles. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up Corel Draw on your computer. And once it is loaded, you'll hit the new document button. Really, there's three things that we want to set. The first of which is going to be a name for the document. And I'm just going to name that after myself. And then I'm going to set a width and a height for the document. So today we're going to work with, we're going to set it to two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And you can see it gives us this square right here. So to place the monogram, I'm going to go over here to the text tool in the left hand menu. I'm going to click anywhere and then start typing the letters I want. So now that I have that, I'm going to go to the pick tool up in the top left hand corner. I'm going to double click and highlight, click and hold to select the first letter. I'm now going to click up top here in the fonts and I'm going to start typing round underscore monogram underscore left and hit enter and that will set it to the left same thing for the middle one i'll select it and type in round monogram center same thing for the right select it round monogram right now i'll select the whole thing and set the point size to 175 so I also want to make sure that it is rotated, and to do that, I'll select it, and I will set the angle of rotation up top here to 270 degrees, and then I'll simply hit enter, and that's going to be what prepares it to be sent to the laser. I'll go back to the pick tool, select the monogram, and hit the P key on the keyboard to center it to the page. And that's all there is to it. So now, I'll just go to File, Save as, and then I'm going to save it to the USB drive. And then now you can take it into the creator space to have it engraved. So I have my file on the laser cutter PC. So to send it over, I'll just do a print command. I am going to go to preferences. I'm going to look at the job type. So we are doing a raster, so I'll select raster. The piece size for this particular one that I'm doing is a horizontal of two and a half, and a vertical of five and a half. The raster settings are located in the drawer, these um, laminated sheets. So for anodized aluminum, I'll use the 160 setting. So that's going to be a speed of 100 and a power of 60. Now I can hit OK, apply, and then print. So now we'll come over to the laser. And I will set the water bottle down into the laser. I'm now going to set the home position. So to do that, I'll make sure the pointer is on. That's number nine. I'm going to turn off the x-axis by hitting number eight, then hit go. And I'm going to move this to the bottom. So I'll hang about the width of the two and a half inches. Probably right about here will be good. I'll go ahead and hit set home. Now it should be good to go. I'll go back to the job menu by hitting number five. Then I can hit go, and it will start engraving. And here is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more Maker Monday videos, check out this playlist. You can also learn more about the JCPL Creative Space at www.jesspublib.org forward slash creative space.